welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made my lemon pillow behind me. I actually made three of them for my house and I showed you a little clip of it in my summer decorating video, but a lot of you asked, can you do a more full in-depth tutorial on how you made that? And I said, absolutely. I love to inspire and motivate you and show you how you guys can get the look for less and also know that whether whatever part of your home you are decorating, if you can't find something that's already done, like say that pillow back there or the checkered pillow here, you guys can go out and find different materials that you like and make use of that. And that's exactly what I did with the lemon pillow. This is actually made out of a Target kitchen towel. So we're gonna have a Target hack pillow cover for you today. Um, I really love just showing you guys different ways that you can do that. Know that um, in the summer decorating video, I did use tacky glue to glue it down. You could use fusing tape, you could use a glue gun, but it doesn't hold as well as I wanted it to if you're using a larger pillow insert like I am here. This is a 20 by 20 pillow, and so um, there's not too much of the kitchen towel left over for the back part, so I did end up using just some white material that I already had on hand, so it didn't cost me anything. I always have a little bit of supplies, you know, overhand. But if you're using a smaller pillow insert, like say a 15 by 15 or a 16 by 16, the kitchen towel will be just fine in covering the entire pillow and it'll give you just enough room on the back to insert it and whatnot, so you don't have to worry. So just use whatever you have on hand. I'm really trying to make use of my 20 by 20 pillows and that is what I'm doing today. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing how you can make your very own beautiful pillow cover for $3 and it takes a little bit of your time, not much at all. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the style video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe and notification bell that we don't miss out on any future videos. And let me know if you have any video requests down in the description box below because I'd love to hear what you guys would like me to do next for you. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So the items I'll be using are some scrap white fabric, a pillow insert, the kitchen towel from Target. You're gonna either want a sewing machine, fusing tape, glue gun, or fabric glue, your choice. So this is what the pillow cover looked like when I used the fabric glue on it. And it works fine, but you can see how large the back is that is open because I'm using a 20 by 20 insert. It's just too large to actually stay on the pillow itself. So I'm just using this scrap piece of white fabric that I folded the ends on and then sewed that down. And then I'm gonna be doing the same thing, just fold and tucking the bottom end as well as the top and sewing those across. And I will show you how to do that in a second. And then I will be sewing those all the way across and then down each of the sides all the way down to the bottom, leaving just the bottom flap open. And that'll be how we create our pocket pillow. It's pretty simple, it's basic. So I start by just folding the one side over and then folding it over again. And then I set my stitch down and then I will go forward and do a back stitch just to lock that in place. And I will do a single stitch all the way down each of the sides. The same thing I did to the other two sides. Once you have that finished, everything should uh, line up pretty well here. Now, um, just to double check, see how I had the fabric glue still a little bit on there. I'm just going to be adjusting this to the way I want it. And then I'm going to be folding over those two seams and then I'm going to sew over those and connect those two that way. Now that that looks the way I wanted it to connected, I am going to be lining up the edge pieces and then I will be sewing from top to bottom down this way as well, connecting the two sides. So we are starting to enclose the case now of our pocket pillow. And again, go all the way down to the bottom. There is no need to go um, on the bottom side because it's already um, sealed. There's no reason to. See how um, the bottom fabric underlays underneath the top fabric? I want it to make that pocket so that it stays tucked under after we um, stuff the pillow. Mm -hmm. 
This is what your pillow cover should look like. It is completely sealed on all the sides, just leaving that little opening there. That way we can stuff our pillow inside, makes it easy to wash it anytime you need to or to change it out for the different seasons. And it's just a really easy way to make a pillow cover. Um, like I said, this is made out of a kitchen towel for $3, but you could use any type of scrap material you might have lying around or an old blanket. Anything goes for this. Alrighty, so I hope I explained how to make that pillow cover easily enough for you to understand. I really like making things. You guys know I love doing DIYs and making my own decor and especially for a lot cheaper, make your money stretch a little bit further. So I hope that that has inspired you to find something in your house that maybe you can repurpose yourself. Um, you may not even have to spend any money at all and whatnot. But I just want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed and who comment and everything on my videos. I really do appreciate it and know that I don't just slap up a video just to put up a video for views. That is not me at all. I take a lot of pride and effort and joy in my work and I actually plan out my videos between two weeks to a whole month long and that is just it's really important to me to put up good quality content that I think that you guys will enjoy and that I enjoy doing myself. So thank you to everyone who just said something positive on that last person that decided to just say something that was completely untrue. I don't have to address it but I just wanted to because I want you to guys know that I love you and that I take a lot of pride and joy in my work and this is a lot of work. A little tutorial like this takes up a couple hours of my time between editing and filming and all that good stuff and uploading. So thank you guys for the love and support and know that I enjoy what I do and I want to put up content that you guys will enjoy and that I enjoy doing myself as well. So I hope you guys have a beautiful, fantastic day. If you have any video requests, leave it down in the comments below so that I can possibly get to those uh, shortly. Um, I am planning on doing a floral type of video for you guys. Somebody requested that and I was like, that's a really cool idea. So I'm working on figuring out how to do that exactly um, in a really creative way. So. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Sorry for the ramble. I'm going to keep it short and sweet.